We had a family group called the Brown Singers, and we would go through New York. Uh, anytime we showed up at church, it was like, oh, we see Deacon Brown and those kids. We all want them to sing. Yeah, we'd be like, no. So singing has been uh, in my DNA from the beginning. And of course, what turned into uh, a no has certainly turned into a yes now. Once I graduated, had a car, husband, apartment, a great church home, all the things you want to name. I had good friends. I was in a sorority like life was good but there was still a hole missing in my heart and I was like what is it that I'm supposed to do I did everything the world said to do what is it I'm supposed to do prayed and asked God what that was he said um since you're saved I want you to go get somebody else I said how he said use your voice use your singing voice I was like oh, you know I don't really love to sing right but yeah, he'll take that thing that you didn't know was being planted in you, placed in you as a young child, or even as you go throughout your life that you run from, but he makes it your vocation, he makes it your calling, he makes it your purpose. I grew up around uh, Bishop Hezekiah Walker before he was Bishop Hezekiah Walker, Timothy Wright, all these gospel greats that came out of New York that went on to have their music across the world. Those were my influences to see and to know that God could take your gift and use it for his glory and then bless you with the desires of your heart, just expand your territory.